Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina. Today I'll be reviewing two new shaving products. One is the Rockwell 6S Razor, and the other is the fourth of the Abate y La Mantilla shaving soaps. Today it's going to be the Crocos. So let's talk about the razor first, we'll move on to the soap, and we'll go and get shaving. So the Rockwell 6S is a all stainless steel razor. Here is the handle, three piece. It comes with a single single top cap and then it includes three different base plates which range and are numbered from one i hope you can see that one up through six and one is the least aggressive six is the most aggressive and you can adjust the razor simply by changing out the base plate and you know which one you're using by the fact that this is facing down. If the number is legible, that's the number that you're using. I know that people obviously sometimes turn it over thinking that the number should go in, but in fact, make sure that the number is visible and that's the setting that you're actually using. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually use the base plate four and then two, which happen to be the same base plate, just inverted. So this is gonna start with the number four. I'm gonna use that for the with the grain pass and the across the grain pass and then I'm going to switch I'm going to adjust the razor by flipping over the base plate and going for number two for the final against the grain pass where I'm able to do a bit more buffing because it is definitely less aggressive than the number four so as you can see hopefully there it is R4 overall fit and finish on the razor is fantastic it's it's heavy it feels very well done. The knurling is really good. The handle feels really solid in the hand. I've had no blade, blade alignment issues at all. Um, each top cap is stamped with the uh, with the name of Rockwell on there. Now the first few shaves I did, I did in fact use uh, the included Rockwell razors razor blade. I used that for the first four shaves. And what I did to try out this razor was I used each base plate for two days in a row. So one, one, two, two, three, three, and so on. And then for the last two days, I shaved, I think once only on five and six. Six, definitely more aggressive than you can feel. There's a big difference between the one and the six. There's really a good range there. And then for the last day or so, what I did was I tried adjusting it by using the four and the two. Now, I know that some people complain that this isn't really, strictly speaking, an adjustable razor. It's not a one-piece razor with a mechanical adjustment built in. But, you know, to my mind, that's kind of a distinction without much of a difference. The razor is adjustable. You simply have to disassemble it and flip over the top cap or change, or from, sorry, flip out the base plate or change out the base plate to adjust the shave to the way that you want it. Now, yes, you have to disassemble it, so that is a difference. So maybe you're adjusting the shave or accommodating the shave or whatever word you want to use there, you are able to change your shave using this single razor. So now I know some people don't, don't really agree that it's adjustable per se. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go along with that. I think this is, in fact, easily adjustable, in fact, easily done, and I'll show you how that goes. So before we start shaving, let's talk about the soap. Today, it's going to be the Crocos, which is the fourth of the Abate Ilamantia um, saffron based soaps. This comes, this is like the other uh, flagship version of the soap. This comes in this really heavy, large glass jar. The others are all uh, um, just the metal tins. Another very cool label. This is a person obviously who is harvesting the saffron blossom there. The soap is beautiful yellow color, which if you've ever made like saffron soap, you know that the pistol is red, but the color in the soap like saffron is, um, pistol is red, but when you actually use it in food, for example, you get with like a yellow made like saffron rice, um, it comes out in this fantastic color and you can really get a good sense of the, the basic smell, the scent of saffron, which is really quite nice. Again, a little bit on sort of the vegetal side, it is not a traditional shaving soap perfume scent at all, but very, very nice. Um, it's also interesting, the, uh, the jar itself has this sort of short throw screw, so when you tighten it, it only tightens on a little bit. I have that pressed into my Captain's Choice loading bowl. And for today, I'm going to be using, of course, my fantastic Rodney Lignum Vitae Monster Bar. So without any further ado, let's go and get shaving. Now, I should also tell you, by the way, that this, I think, might be the eighth shave on a Gillette yellow sharp edge blade. Uh, I had a fantastic fantastic shave on Friday using the four and the two absolutely beautiful shave I'm gonna go ahead and risk it one more shave why not live dangerously 
just loading up the brush right now. Switching from four to the two, which well, I'll definitely do during the shave. Uh, that uh, that third pass was fantastic. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and just really load and load and load as always. Very easy to get going. Ah, oh, almost all fell out of the bowl. Yeah, this is another one of those soaps, by the way, where I think it's kind of easy to get full because that initial lather starts off pretty good, but don't skimp on the water. This is one of those soaps where I think you just need to add a bit more water than you might otherwise think. Um, by the way, I've loaded this um, out of a different tub, not out of the Captain's Choice, and it starts off less airy. So there's definitely, that Captain's Choice loading bowl has a big impact on how the soap gets going. Texture of that bowl really does help. Yeah, all four of these soaps have been exceptionally easy to lather. They all can definitely take a lot of water, so don't skimp. Oh, oh that was close. Maybe this will be the shade where there isn't some kind of glob of lather on the floor or on the mirror. Or... Yeah, and I would put this brush up against any one of the badgers that I have. Beautiful. Beautiful soft tips. Very good backbone. No issue loading hard soaps or soft soaps or working with creams. All right, let's add a bit of water. Try to scoop off some of this at the bottom. I mean, look at that, it's crazy how much lather that's generating. All right, I want to add just a touch more water. Just smooth this out a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and get shaving. So just I'm just dribbling water on the tips of the brush, just a little bit, just a few drops. There we go. All right. Beautiful. The scent during the shave, by the way, is very light. By no means an overwhelming scent at all. It's a nice, it's a well-defined scent, but not like a strong, heady kind of scent. All right, here we go. This is the Rockwell 6S. I've got this on the, using the number four base plate. Yeah, soap is just, again, slick. Nice protective cushion. Yeah. Very, very easy shades the last two weeks. I was quite happy when Rockwell contacted me about providing a razor for review. Definitely a razor I was interested in, in part because I like the idea of having Something this this well built that's going to last you forever, and that in fact can sort of grow and adjust with you. I can definitely 100% see that you might, for example, want to do a very quick five o'clock shave. You're going back out for the evening. You just want to do a really quick shave. Put it on too, and just go for a really quick cleanup pass. It'd be fantastic, easy to do. And the six is definitely aggressive, but not uncomfortable at all. So if you had four or five days of growth, you really wanted to mow through it, put it on the six, see how your skin feels, maybe drop down to a three. The only thing to note is that the, the base plates, by the way, are not numbered in sequence. So base plate one goes with three, two goes with four, and then five goes with six. So far, so far that blade is holding up very nicely.
All right. Pass number one. Quick and easy. Let's go ahead and just rinse off a little bit. Lather up for pass number two. That'll still be on the number four base plate. Now, you know, there is something, when you look at a razor like this and you think about, well, you're gonna spend a hundred bucks on it. Stainless steel, a lot of options. You're gonna clearly hold onto this razor for a long time, right? This is not gonna go anywhere. Clearly a razor you can pass on. Maybe not to your children, but somebody else in the decades to come will absolutely be enjoying this razor. But it's kind of interesting to think about the fact that at some point this becomes something like a vintage Gillette that people so treasure today, right? And then, at least for me, one of the first things that comes to mind is, how do you know which one this is? If you look at the Gillette and you think about how much time people spent on determining exactly what year, particularly for the unmarked ones and how critical that date code is, I just wish more manufacturers made some effort to make sure they can identify those razors so that people knew and who keep track of those things that this was a 2016 Ray, you know, Brockwell 6S. Because that the box I did it came in, there's no way that I'm gonna keep that for the long term. I mean I at some point that's gonna go. This will just be another razor with some, you know, some base plates and a you know rubber bandit or something together in my loot crate. You know, how's a person gonna know in 50 years what that was? And with the number of razors coming out and the fact that in a lot of cases those razors are identified only by a web page that may be in the the Wayback Machine somehow gets preserved. So if you're the kind of person who's cataloging your razors, by the way, your new razors, let me know. Be curious to know how you're doing that. I'm going to be doing something very simple, I think, just a very simple printed picture and a description so that if somebody at some point does, you know, I have unfortunately passed into the beyond, and they get my collection of razors, that they don't just toss them in the bin thinking that they're just a bunch of old garbagey razors, because they won't be. There'll be things like this that could 100% be used for decades to come. I want to make an effort that at least people know what they what they're holding. Yeah, I gotta say the number four base plate for me just feels like the just the, the, the perfect perfect setting for your normal everyday everyday shave, certainly for the width and the across. Comfortable, easy to use, handle is 100% non-slippy. Angle's been very easy to find. And it's heavy too, so if you tend to press down and you're new to wet shaving, for example, and you're still exerting a lot of pressure, just be aware that this is quite a heavy razor. Wow, even there, still relatively smooth with this blade. There is a tiny, tiny bit of overhang, so that's something to watch out for, particularly in spots like that, where the overhang may, for example, just catch the edge of your nose. Wow, soap is still doing fantastic. I, I, I've really been enjoying these soaps. Straight up vegetable soap. Coconut oil based soap made by Chung Fung Sing, so you kind of get an idea of what you're, uh, what you're in for. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out for pass number four some more of the, just the remaining leather from that leather bowl. No reason to let that go to weight. Oh, oh, that was close.
Now, for those of you in the U.S., I don't know if you're experiencing the same thing in your larger grocery retailers and others. It's not even Halloween yet, and there are already Thanksgiving and Christmas displays up. It's no wonder people feel rushed. What the hell? Give people a chance to breathe for God's sake, and it hasn't even been Halloween yet, and you're already worrying people about getting ready for Thanksgiving. That's kind of nuts. Beautiful, beautiful creamy texture on this soap. Really load that on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I'm going to adjust the razor by switching from the number four base plate. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to use the number two for the against the grain pass because I would actually like a bit more of a mild shave on that one. So I'm just going to disassemble the razor. Just take the base plate. I'm just going to flip it over. And that's it. Adjusted. Nothing to it. Now, there's. I just want to recommend one thing, by the way. I, I've seen people recommend this, and I personally am against this. I do not believe, no matter what Ginger Ware says, I don't care how strongly he believes this, apples are not the place to be storing your used razor blades, particularly around Halloween. So there's your public service announcement for today. We have beautiful moss. So this is easy, mild. I have to watch it. I actually have an insect bite right there, so just watch that one. Yeah, you can definitely feel this blade is at the end. This is it, end of the rope. But the two is mild enough that for those of us that like the buff on that third pass. Yeah, easy. All right, this side now. Yeah, a little bit of tugging started, but After eight shaves, I'm really okay with that. All right, let's. Yeah, and I'm really exerting no pressure here. Just, just letting this, you know, the blade really do its work. Residual slickness on the soap is excellent, really helps doing this. Yeah, and just clean up around the edge there. All right, finish off with the mustache.
Oh, beautiful. That's the nice thing about using the more, the more mild setting. Very, very little risk of irritation. And if you like the buff and feel like that really works for your skin, use a, use a less aggressive setting. And that's exactly what that razor is designed to do. So you can sort of find the perfect ground. In fact, you could use three different settings. You could do with, across, and against, and just keep changing the base plate for any one of those. All right. Oh, yeah. So, still nice and slick. Nice light scent. Yeah, very, very impressed with those soaps overall. And there's something in there for everybody. You have the Vegado, which was the um, the lettuce and carrot. You had the Cromiro, which was the very sweet, kind of delicious, smelly biscuit. I think the last one I used before that was the Laureato. That was the Laurel one. That's got a fantastic, fantastic face feel. It just makes your skin feel amazing. Um, and then finally, the Crocos, which was the uh, entirely the saffron based one. All right, let me towel off. Remove some of this residual crocos. Ah. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, yeah. Nice, let me just rinse that just a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Oh, beautiful shave. And in fact, I'm gonna leave it there because I've done this a number of times now in the last two weeks of sort of alternate, alternated between no aftershave and aftershave. And of course, aftershave, I love how it feels, but right now my skin feels really smooth. It feels well hydrated. It doesn't feel tight or hot or irritated. I'm just gonna leave it exactly like that. So, let's recap, shall we not? Today's shave, another fantastic irritation-free shave. Easy, just beautiful shave. Well, the razor for today, the All Stainless Steel Rockwell 6S Adjustable 3-piece, three 3-piece, three well, 6-piece, 8-piece razor. Um, yeah, 3-piece adjustable razor. It comes with three different base plates, and by flipping the base plate over, you can adjust the razor from uh, from quite mild on setting number one to pretty aggressive on number six, but not outrageously aggressive at all. Very, still actually a pretty comfortable shave. Very well made. Uh, I've really enjoyed using this. Um, being able to switch from base plate four to two uh, has proven to be excellent option for me. Very smooth, irritation-free shaves. Uh, really, really enjoyed this razor. This is clearly something which will last and last and last. So. You may well be the first person who bought it. You will not be the last person to use it. So beautiful, beautiful job on those. Very happy with that. Today's soap, the Abate y la Mantea, the Crocos, Saponificato con Zafferano. Yeah, these are the saffron-based soaps, and this one is the actual saffron soap. As you can see, a fantastic color in this one. Beautiful golden yellow, wonderful scent. Excellent performance. If you get a chance to pick these up, then go ahead and get them. Really, really enjoyed those four soaps. Today's brush, still full of lather. Wonderful rod neep, lignum vitae handle. Um, ginormous born knot in there. Absolutely all of this brush. Captain's Choice lathering bowl, as I'm sure you were all familiar with. And no aftershave for today, because honestly, I just don't feel the need for it. Mmm. Yeah, those mosquito bites. A little bite there, not to worry. Well, everybody, that was pretty much it for today. Let me say once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave those against the video. If you are a new international viewer, unfortunately, for those of you that have asked, I cannot translate these videos. It's actually quite expensive to do. So uh, apologies that it's going to be English only for the time being. Um, otherwise, once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.